All right, this is going to be a uh, quick learning experience, if you want to call it that, about the Corel uh, Video Studio um, software, editing software. Whether you just have the Pro uh, uh, 6 or X6, or if you have the uh, un, uh, uh, Ultimate version, uh, I think even if you have the 5 or 4 or 3, I think they all work very similar, or they almost look very uh, close to each other. So I'm going to try to sit here and go through some of the basics of what Corel actually can do. If you have uh, Corel software, which um, I've heard and seen a lot of comments of um, how to use it, well, I'll go through the basics of what I've learned. By no means am I a pro, nor do I work for Corel. Uh, nor do I understand the full capabilities of the software. I just know what I know by playing with it and by looking at other YouTube videos and I'm just trying to help out the um, YouTube community, especially on the on the gun channels that I uh, cater to and that uh, other channels cater to me as well. Um, so if you guys are out there using this software, I hope this can be of uh, service to you. And uh, here we go. Now, I'll give you a quick example with some of the sample videos they bring. Uh, this is more or less your, your Windows setup. I don't know if you knew or not, but you can actually double click on, uh, I'm sorry, not double click, but you can actually expand a window uh, individually and, you know, make the view whatever you want it to be. You can also open this up and make it wider. You can make it narrower. I like to keep it at that distance. That always works for me. And I apologize, uh, my screen is a little bit on the glitchy side right now. But, um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not uh, uh, the best program out there, but it is, in my own personal opinion, the best program for a beginner uh, to be able to use. I mean, it has all the basic functions, and I am not a pro editor, nor do I want to work for television or anything like that but I think it's uh, quite complete and quite fun to use. I'm going to use this little sample videos that it comes with here uh, like this one, uh, you can use uh, this one um, any one of these videos will work just fine so if you press play you can see the video, let's say that was a video I actually recorded I can use that to go ahead and set that up into my timeline and that would be uh, my video right down here um, let's say I wanted to uh, record another side or another portion to that video uh, because I forgot to do an addition and I wanted to show how to draw um, you know more or less a, a map of the world I would go ahead and uh, throw that in my timeline as well on that first slot which is uh, dedicated for videos and, uh, and then let's say I wanted to throw in some additional audio uh, Corel has this little feature right here where it's record caption and if you choose this you can do a voiceover um, in case you don't like the original recording of what you're doing with your own voice now if you come up on, on screen uh, like some people do voiceovers won't work because obviously it won't match what your lips are moving into uh, but if you don't show your face on screen and you just speak you can pretty much do whatever you want with this uh, voiceover feature um, what I'm using now is a screen capture feature. Um, you can take screen snapshots. Um, you know, you can pretty much do, uh, pretty much do a lot of things with this um, uh, software. Uh, import from an audio CD, mobile device. I mean, you can you can play around with these uh, features uh, that you see here. Um, it does come with these preset uh, video embedded options that you can place on your videos. Um, you can um, also uh, uh, get them out of there and, um, uh, you can select them and uh, deactivate them if you want to call it that uh, you can also have photos um, so let's say you want to look through your folders for a specific photo or whatever the case may be you would go through here you would go through your files desktop libraries photos videos whatever it is this is my personal stuff so I'm not going to get into it but just so you can know how to open up a file that you have uploaded. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I actually just use my phone 
I have a Samsung Galaxy S3 and that is um, an HD camera um, recording capable uh, camera I don't have a fancy one thousand two thousand dollar video camera recorder with 1080p or none of that um, but I do know how to make my videos um, 1080p if I wanted to uh, so um, with that being said you don't need a three thousand dollar camera to get good quality videos uh, you just need to know how to get that good quality on uh, on screen on YouTube and how to provide your viewers with those options um, here uh, you have like I said your photo options you have your music options so you can activate and deactivate uh, those features as needed Corel comes with a few um, you know uh, preset audios here not songs but just like sound effects type of things and these are some of the videos that I obviously put up and that's how I break them apart and that's how I edit them and um, you know I just put that out there so you guys can see um, but let's speak about some of the features that it can have and I might need to split this video up into a couple of multiple different uh, videos we'll see but um, you can do sound effects okay let's say this is my first video right and I uh, have the little uh, sun my continuation video is gonna be me drawing the world um, let's throw another one out there just for uh, explanation purposes let's throw this little video of how to draw that face a smiley sunny face um, alright so we go to project and you can actually um, start it from the beginning and this will be pretty much how my video looks alright uh, it'll be one video the next video the next video after that and uh, the next video after that but you don't want to show it uh, live in that format so what you want to do is actually try to create some transitions so here you go to your transition uh, uh, box and you can choose any kind of transition you like uh, you can set up your favorites or you can choose all and there are plenty of trans uh, transitions to choose from on this uh, software as you can see here I mean you have quite a bit of transitions to choose from if you want to make any one of these your favorite you can highlight them and you can just go to add to my favorite and they will automatically become your favorite um, but let's say I wanted to use uh, for example this transition to separate uh, that video so I would go ahead and oops let's try that again I would go ahead and put that there between those two videos um, let's say I wanted to make uh, this another transition between those two videos and uh, let's see uh, something else from down below let's say I wanted to make um, this one another one of my transition I would put that there now I would go to project again I would rewind it all and I would play it and this how uh, this is how the video will look like with transitions so it'll make it just look slightly more integrated if you want to call it that it'll give it a smoother transitioning look uh, rather than just cutting off from one video to the next uh, on this one you can actually um, even uh, work on on the transitions you know how you want them to be so here I double clicked on that transition notice how the color of that transition was green if I play it that breakaway point on how the transition comes in is green I can change that to pretty much any color I want in here and uh, that's pretty cool so if I wanted it to be um, let's say red I choose red and now my transition coloration for that specific transition is red uh, so that's another cool feature and you can actually work on any of these transitions and you can make them go uh, from left to right to up to down and if you double click on them after you put them up integrate them into your videos you can make a lot of things happen uh, so that's on the transition side um, if you have any kind of music that you want to add to this uh, let's go back up here again so let's say you want to add a, uh, a sound effect or something I think these are songs uh, that automatically come from um, Corel uh, they are not your your full library but these are some of the basic ones that they come with um, oops let's try dragging that again 
Oh, hold on, I can't put it in the video, I apologize. I gotta put that down in the audio right down here. So I'll put that there. I'll select uh, play just to listen to the audio. And, you know, that's... Okay, that would be the audio. And it's a full song, it'll tell you it's a seven minute long song. Uh, so, you know you can adjust that. The cool thing about Corel is that, that you can adjust the length of it. So if I don't want it to be that long, I could bring it down. I All I have to do is go towards the end and just pretty much minimize the length of that song to however short I want it to be. So if I want it to be only the length of my video, I'll bring it down to there. And then I can select play again, just on the song. And that is now my new length for that song okay I can now go to project and see how everything will integrate together so now I have my song I have my video and my transitions all coming in together at the same time which is pretty cool alright and uh, you know you have other things you can do with Corel such as adding text uh, I'm sorry right here adding text um, you guys have seen some of my ending text um, portions which is uh, this one right here so you know all you would have to do is drag that one down towards the end of your video and that would be your um, uh, outro if you want to call it that this would be um, your title page and you can select any one of these features to actually make um, a text box and you can edit each text box uh, to your liking so let's say I wanted to make my intro uh, this one right here okay that's no problem I can just go ahead and grab it and put it right at the beginning of my video alright and at that point all I would have to do is just double click on the screen right here and I can type anything uh, anything I want it um, as far as my intro video would be apologize I'm getting a phone call